Assalamualaikum Welcome back to my channel Today we're going to study Chapter 5 Analysis of structure by using Stiffness metric method for BIM The purpose to study This chapter is To apply the stiffness metric method To determine displacement In BIMs The lesson outcome For this chapter we able to define BIM local and global coordinate system Develop BIM member stiffness metric Later on followed by development BIM structure system metric In order to find what is the displacement And also what is the forces at each node if related Take this problem for the BIM subjected to point load Similar to thrust, four beam do have nodes, member, direction, near and form. However, please do remember, a node will have vertical displacement and rotation displacement. For example, we take at one side of our support at pin support due to UDL and at self load at that node will be no vertical displacement however for the rotational displacement is not zero next one for roller support there is no vertical displacement displacement is not zero next one we take in the middle of the beam due to the load vertical displacement is not zero same to rotational displacement is not zero we take for next example at pin support due to load the vertical displacement is zero rotational displacement is zero this one for pin this one for roller this one in the middle of our beam and this one for fix for our case the global direction still the same at each node we're going to take far left for one node for example here we take as zero zero. That means the following nodes will be in positive coordinate. Take here is one simple members. For that simple member, we name as member two. Gonna have node numbering. And also gonna have direction near to far and as you can see here this is local direction x dash and y dash and y x is global direction now we're going to define our nodes our member our near far directions for our beam for example we take this beam first as usual global direction for our beam here is x and this is y for this one we can split to few members for for example this one is one member next we take from this roller support to point load as another members and 
that one is another members that's mean first member second member third members since we have three member that's mean we're going to have four nodes one two three four at each node for beam we're gonna have vertical displacement and rotational displacement and we don't have horizontal displacement similar to thrust we need to define unknown displacement first and followed by known displacement we have vertical displacement and rotational displacement only that symbol for vertical displacement and rotational so we define here as node number one node number two node number three node number four now we're going to number displacement at each node certainly there is no horizontal just vertical and rotational at node 4 there's no vertical so just rotational displacement here gonna have rotational as well here gonna have rotational and at here gonna have rotational at node 3 there will be vertical displacement however there's no vertical displacement at node 4 node 2 node 1 so we're going to number with unknown first so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 as you can see here the lowest number is unknown displacement and the highest number is known displacement this is the method to number your nodes and don't forget near 4 direction 1 to 2 near 4 2 to 3 near 4 3 to 4 near 4 now let's do numbering for next example we take this one problem number one so for this case we can identify as two members member number one and member number two member number one member number two and our global direction as usual global direction so for each node all in positive coordinates so we're gonna have one node two three nodes this one as node one node two node three refer condition of your support you need to identify at which nodes will have vertical displacement and rotational displacement at node 1 will be rotational unknown rotational and also unknown vertical displacement at node 2 will have rotational displacement at node 1 will have rotational so this is known known displacement which is 0 so let's do the numbering so we take this one rotational as one two three four and for known five six so we done numbering for problem number one next problem number two for this beam subjected to moment and also as stated here 
center support will shelter up to 1.5 mm that's mean here at this support going to settle down about 1.5 mm so let's do numbering for this problem so as we can see here we're gonna have two members so we name this one as member one this is member two before i forgot for this case we have to draw near far near far all right back again to this problem do numbering for our notes so this is note number one note number two note number three at note one and note three subjected to four kilonewton meter and center of support will have displacement of 1.5 mm so at node, node 3 gonna have rotational at node 2 gonna have rotational and at node 1 gonna have rotational due to initial condition at each support or at each node there will be no displacement on vertical so here is known so we're going to number this rotation as one two three known four five and six and near for direction on each member near four near four so we done numbering on problem two next one we move to next example which is this beam subjected to udl for this beam we can identify as two member as well member one and this one is member two subjected to udl of 12 kilonewton per meter member number one so take this one is member number one member number two so here note number one note number two note number three so we have to identify at which node gonna have rotational and vertical here we're gonna have unknown or rotational here we're gonna have unknown rotational then certainly at each node don't have vertical displacement so this one is known known and also known since at support one is pin so don't have rotational displacement which is zero now we have to do our numbering start with unknown so here rotational is one rotational unknown two then all knowns displacement three four five and six then near four direction for each member near four near four for member one and two so that's example how to do numbering for stiffness metric for beam once identify our numbering at each node we can assemble beam member stiffness metric as we can see for each member gonna have two nodes we take example for simple member we're gonna have two nodes near and far therefore n is near f is far for beam we don't have x direction we just have y 
and z direction which is y is for shear and z for bending moment z for bending moment Here you can see, we're going to number our metric for member accordingly to near Y, near Z, followed by for Y and for Z. That based on our numbering we did early on. Once we assemble our beam member stiffness metric, we have to combine it later to construct our structure stiffness matrix for that one we're going to do in next example thank you for right now assalamualaikum